Tennessee's Wild Side, broadcast for nearly two decades, was originally created through a vision of the Jackson Foundation. The foundation remains a supportive partner in the mission to educate viewers about wildlife, natural resources, and opportunities for outdoor adventure. All-terrain vehicles in the forest and kayaks on the water are two very different ways to take a ride on the wild side. But we now go to Montgomery Bell State Park for a very unique course of action. The sun is slowly beginning to set and the deer that have been nestled in the depths of the woods are now populating this serene landscape. It's calm, it's peaceful, and now it's time to put the pedal to the metal. Let the wind blow through your hair as you take the wheel on Montgomery Bell's golf cart safari. This is awesome. This is a good thing for little kids. We get to see animals, cruise the golf course. It's great. It gives the visitors an opportunity that might never come and see the golf course because they, they may choose, they don't choose to golf. It gives them an opportunity to come out on the golf course and see some of the nature and just see the scenic views that are here on the golf course. Our eager and enthusiastic tour guide is more than ready for this evening's trip. He actually helped launch this progressive program, so he knows all the rules of the road. He's just kind of one of those brainchilds between me and a couple other seasonal rangers of just neat opportunities that the park could do that is something we just didn't do before. The tour is politely scheduled after the last golfer makes his final putt, and the course can be converted into another outdoor adventure. It's when folks will arrive, you know, they'll come over to the carts. We'll talk a little bit about the history of the park, you know, how to safely operate the golf carts, make sure everybody is licensed to drive, and then, then once we're ready to go, we'll get out on the carts and then kind of take a tour and see what we see, learn a little bit about the golf course and some of the different environmental things that are going on to help improve the environment as well. There's a neat little worksheet I put on, on each of those carts to give you some stuff to listen for. And then we'll talk a little bit about the history of the park, a little bit about the golf course, and then we'll drive around and see some animals. Does that sound like fun? Yeah. Awesome. Back before the 1920s, 1930s, before that, there was no park here. It was just all private land. Then, you know, of course, the Depression came along and the federal government came in and they bought all the land that would become Montgomery Bell State Park. Now here comes the fun part. Our brains are filled with fresh facts. The gears are going, batteries are charged up, visors are down, and it's time to hit the open track. The tour generally lasts about an hour. We pretty much stay on the cart path, but that still gives you a lot of amazing vistas, just nature that, again, you're not going to get to see unless you come out here and ride with us or unless you come and golf for yourself. I love it. It's great. I'm a golfer, so I actually played here about two hours ago before dinner uh, and then coming out to learn more about the, the nature piece of it. Uh, it's awesome. So, yeah, very good time so far. We're on a family vacation this weekend, and uh, this was an opportunity at the park that we haven't tried before. So we're super excited to bring the kids out. It's family friendly and uh, we're having a lot of fun, aren't we? Yeah. What makes this journey exceptionally special is how it appeals to any age group and is accessible to almost anyone looking for a fun adventure. It really varies that we do get a lot of families and sometimes we'll get grandparents bringing, bringing grandchildren. And for visitors that may have accessibility issues, it gives them an opportunity to get out and see nature that they wouldn't get to see because they can't go hiking for themselves. As long as you, you can get yourself from the vehicle to into a cart, you get the opportunity to get a lot closer to nature than you would just normally, you know, either being indoors or, you know, okay, you get to the park and you get in a parking lot and you just can't really go anywhere from there. This, you're actually getting out in the park, out in the golf course, and we get to see a lot more nature. We've been on all kinds of trails. We've been uphill, downhill, we've been on rocky terrain and mountainsides, but nothing has been easier and more fun than this. We've had several folks that would come out on these cart tours and they enjoyed it so much they may have brought more family members the next time or come back again for multiple return visits. 
We do get a lot of visitors that like to come along and, and take photos along the way of the different nature they see. So that's, and that, that's a neat opportunity that they get to take. Rain or shine, the only thing that ever stops this golf cart getaway is a severe storm too rough for the ride. But on this particular night, clear skies and warm temperatures encourage an abundance of wildlife. What did you see? I saw a deer, a bird, a squirrel. And a crow? A crow. Yeah. Very good. We did it a long time ago when I was six. And there's a lot of things to do. You love animals yeah. too, don't you? Yes. Yeah, we all, we both love animals. Do you want to be a veterinarian when you get older? Yes. It's an all-inclusive excursion, and even the rangers join in on the fun. We're always trying to provide new opportunities, and you know, in a lot of areas, you know, no one would have ever thought that you know, coming to a golf course and seeing it after hours, that there'd be something neat to see other than to go chase a golf ball. And for you know, us getting to share that nature with the visitors, that you know, we'll have the little kids that'll ride and go, wow, we saw like 30 deer on this trip. And that's awesome, getting to share these things that they wouldn't see every day. Thank y'all for coming. Absolutely. All right, have a good night. Good night. Have a good night. All right, y'all have a good evening, okay? okay? You can get more information on our website, wildsidetv.com. Thank you for joining us. We hope you are inspired to appreciate and protect our natural resources. And if you have to choose sides, always choose the wild side. Tennessee's Wild Side has been a presentation of the Jackson Foundation in association with Rockwater TV.